What's up everybody? It's your girl Tammy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm coming through with a sewing tutorial for a fleece angel wing sweater. So if you want to learn how to make it, keep watching. For this tutorial, the supplies you will need are a 50 inch by 60 inch fleece blanket or one and a half yards of knit fabric, a half a yard of rib knit fabric or any type of jersey knit, Taylor's chalk or something to mark your fabric with, scissors, a measuring tape and or a yardstick, and of course your sewing machine. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Fold your fabric lengthwise in half. Here I am just making sure that my fabric is straight and everything is lined up. Go ahead and fold your fabric in quarters, lengthwise again, in half. Now we're going to move on to our neckline, measuring in our neckline. What I did was I used a two inch basis of creating a circle for the neck hole. But of course you can use any other measurement if you wanted something larger. I'm just marking around in a circle for the neckline at two inches so that I can have a perfectly cut out circle. Once you complete your markings, go ahead and cut out your neck hole. What I'm doing here is marking out my waist measurement, adding in seam allowance the seam allowance of your choice. What I'm doing here is trying to decide how high up I want to start the cut for my armhole. And originally I thought that I would use about an inch or an inch and a half. Because I am using a fabric that is different from the dimensions of the fleece blanket, I kind of had to wing it a lot. So you'll see me here doing a lot of measuring and kind of trying to figure out how wide I wanted my sleeve to be. And I'm just marking out my sleeve length, trying to figure out again how wide I wanted my sleeve to be. Originally, I think I used about 18 inches, or I thought I was gonna use about 18 inches. Here I'm just squaring off so that I can have a straight line to cut with, to cut on. This last line is gonna be the final cut line for my sleeve and I think I did use 18 inches so my sleeve is going to be 18 inches here where the lines meet and the 90 degree angle is I'm just kind of making a curve so that it will give me more of a waistline and something you know easier to cut go ahead and cut that out And your shirt is almost done. All you need to do now is sew down the sides. Sew down both sides. Using the seam allowance of your choice, I surged my ends. Now I am making mine a turtleneck, but if you don't wish to use a tur do a turtleneck, you can go ahead and hem the neckline at this point. Go ahead and put that to the side. We're going to start working on our waistband. I had some scrap fabric. Well, actually, it was the bottom of a t-shirt. And um, I'm just going to kind of use that as my waistband. 
make sure that the stretch does go around your body or you may not be able to to wear it it might be a little snug here I'm just measuring out the width of my waist actually and I did subtract two inches from that to allow for a stretch so that it can be nice and snug around my hips go ahead and cut that out the height of the waistband really is your choice I used six inches no I used eight inches but you can make it any you know any height you want to make it I use eight inches so when I fold it over I will have a four inch waistband as you see here I'm just measuring around my neckline so that I can get an accurate measurement for my turtleneck I measured the front and I measured the back and just kind of added those two numbers together this is going to give me the number for the width of my turtleneck I used one half of the width that I just figured out and mark that line determine the height that I wanted my turtleneck of course this is going to be folded in half the height I used was 8 inches here I'm just marking out the square for my turtleneck at the bottom where the turtleneck is going to meet the bodice of the sweater I'm just rounding that out just using some pattern weights here because this material is really shifting on me make it easier to cut let's go ahead and cut out the turtleneck here and now your turtleneck is complete sew down the sides I have sewn all my pieces together I have my turtleneck I have my waistband and I have the bodice at this point what you want to do since there are no front and back seams you already have your side seams in order to match up the turtleneck and the waistband with your bodice find the center front and center back seams and either mark those or cut notches trust me it's gonna make your life much much easier when it comes time to adding the turtleneck and the waistband to the bodice here I'm just showing you that I have forgotten to mark the center front and center back of my bodice so I'm doing it here everything's sewn together and it's time to go ahead and attach your waistband to the bodice one of the reasons why it takes me so long to sew is because my OCD starts to kick in and uh, start refolding things 
make sure your bodice is right side out and your waistband is also right side out and go ahead and start attaching your bodice at the side seams match up the notches and or the marks that you made for the center front and the center back that way you'll know that everything is lined up properly go ahead and sew all the way around now it's time to attach the turtleneck It may appear that I'm attaching the turtleneck incorrectly, but I want it to fold down and have the right side of the fabric on the outside. So the wrong side is actually my right side for the turtleneck. But just go ahead and match your side seams and match your notches for your center front and center back of your neck hole. And you're gonna sew all the way around and that is it and then you wear it and here I am just showing you what I've made excuse my crazy look it was a little late in the evening if you use the fleece this is going to be so warm And I'm just acting a little silly. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again with another sewing tutorial real soon. Peace.